I am Pamela Wallen. I'm an independent senator for the province of Saskatchewan. Also sat on the federal or the joint parliamentary committee on MAID. It's been a passion of mine for a very long time. My mother was a high school teacher and she worked when not a lot of women worked outside the home. It was an amazing role model to have. She was a very able, competent, articulate woman. My mother, who who had such intellectual ability, that was her fear that she would not be able to read or think in the way she had or recognize her family. So that is why I have taken this issue up. The decline began when she lost track of time and would get up in the middle of the night and start cooking. And that became a danger uh, because she would walk away from the stove and forget she was cooking. To watch her go through the decline that comes with dementia and Alzheimer's is um, a very, very difficult experience. Uh, she wanted always to look her best and be her best. And this horrible disease took that power and that sense of control away from her day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute, giving people dignity, giving them the chance to make those end of life decisions is so very important. I loved my mother till her last day, but she was not really my mother or the person that I had ever known in my life. She was a person with Alzheimer's, with dementia, and she was suffering. So an advanced request is just the ability to maintain some control over your own life and your own departure uh, from this world and to spell out for people so it's clear, um, both legally and medically uh, with your team and with advice and with family and say, these are the circumstances in which I'd like that to happen. And, and then if we did that, we would not have this one group of people that are excluded um, from the rights that so many others have. We're trying to, in a sense, um, extend the right to MAID for those who have, uh, have lost the ability to consent directly, keep safeguards in place, but also assure people and give them the guarantee the right that their request when they were of sound mind uh, will be honored and respected. We have to say to people, when I lose that identity, when I lose that core ability to make a contribution to the world and to my family and to be content in my own body and in my own skin, then give me the choices. And, uh, and, and I think it's a I think it's such an important conversation because it's just, it, it, it's who we are and it's who, um, it's about that sense of dignity and control that we want all of us to have right through to the very end. Watching my mother's uh, descent into Alzheimer's and into the decline that comes with it was a horrendous experience for me. I'm sure it was 10 times worse for her and it really, uh, it just clicked in my mind that we have to do something about this. It is not fair to people who have lived a wonderful and meaningful life um, to make the end so brutal. We know from poll after poll after poll that Canadians believe in this. They are committed to the matter and the question of choice at the end of life. So for people, particularly in the political front, let's get to the front of this parade. Canadians are leading it. Let's help them in that battle. Those of us in uh, the House of Commons or the Senate are doing what we can on the political front to change the laws. But I ask you, please engage on this front. Talk to your friends, talk to your family, write a letter, write a letter to your member of parliament or a senator that you know, um, supporting the Dying with Dignity campaign on advance requests. This is important. People have to hear those messages from the people they represent.